guys welcome to ask a little witch okay so i've decided to film the mid months um predictions in black and white purely because i don't know i feel like there's something decadent about black and white i think it's just so fitting for like what 2016 is bringing about which is an ending um a huge ending at that because in numerology 2016 is the wrapping up and the completion of the nine year cycle of the last nine years of your life and 2017 will bring about the start of the next nine year cycle so it's going to bring about so much change and I feel like everybody is kind of in this space where they are purging and purifying um you know everything that's kind of happened to them um and we'll see I mean naturally people in the face of change tend to resist it and the longer and the harder and the more you persist at resisting um the more difficult that you make things so i feel like as, as long as everybody's open for these these changes of which i feel are very very beneficial by the way um it's a necessary step um i don't feel like anyone has anything to fear over what 2017 is going to bring um because it is just the beginning um of whatever is going to start to manifest so on and so forth now before we get into your horoscope i just want to mention that my online store will close it was meant to close tonight but i'm going to leave it open till saturday um saturday morning uk london time um for anyone who does still want a reading before the end of the year's out my online store will reopen on the 29th and that is when my seasons um reading which goes into like the seasons and predicting things that are going to take place in your love life career so on and so forth through each of the seasons it is only like a limited kind of thing it's like an overview an overview prediction of what i can kind of foresee taking place for you specifically um if you would like that reading it is available on the 29th um but anyone who wants a reading before then um, you'd have to purchase a three day rush. Um, I have had quite an increase. Um, I have kind of had to juggle a lot of readings around. So if you haven't heard back from me yet, you will do, I promise. Um, I'm just trying to catch up with everything. Um, okay, so without further ado, um, let's move on to your mid month horoscopes. And I will put a link up somewhere around for the general overview of December of 2016 if you wanted to check that out um, and I always invite people to check out the previous month's um, horoscopes just to see how things have kind of panned out for you so far and obviously if they have come true please do leave me a comment thumbs it up and share it if you can so yeah thank you hi Aquarius suns moons and rising signs okay so for you guys what they showed me was like it was I think it was a turtle um, that was kind of like just like setting like out onto the sea or I feel like basically what it kind of meant was that you were going on a journey or you're going back to somewhere you know the symbol of like turtles like longevity um, in regards to water you know emotion and feeling um, you were going with the tide like you were setting off in search of something or going back to something is what I was kind of getting here and they also showed me frogs um, and whenever I see frogs I think of a cleansing or a purification that needs to happen before you can get to your destination before you can get to where it is that you want to get to for a lot of you I feel like what this is all about is like a closing of a door um, I feel like there's something that has come to some sort of a completion and you know now it's a sense of knowingness um for some of you you're setting out on a journey you're going on a trip you're going to travel somewhere or to go see something um, maybe you bump into someone from your past as you are going somewhere to do something um i am definitely getting a strong indication of travel though um i don't know if you're planning a trip you're going on a journey or something like that um strong sense of like travel and adventure is what i'm seeing and maybe what you could be greeted with is um i don't know they're, they're showing me a gypsy the gypsy symbol that i associate with wishes um so i feel like but i feel like in your head you're like it's not the right time i can't do this right now but it's being given to you so don't knock a blessing um and 
you know everything happens for a reason everything happens at the right time you you are meant to have this whatever it is and um, so take that in but I do see significant big changes in regards to a relationship like big changes um, now obviously that could be a whole bunch of things this could just be moving it to the next level but I do get the sense of some sort of chaoticness um, a sense of like crazy like something happening a little bit out of the blue in regards to a relationship or even an old relationship maybe um, but yeah I am definitely seeing um, you you kind of like it's almost like you're getting ready to go somewhere it's almost like you've done it you've been there you've tried that you know how it is that you feel now and you're going back towards something maybe um i feel like as well though just be careful with what you say and choose your words wisely make sure that you are in the right frame of mind because anything that you do say is going to have a longer lasting effect with mercury being retrograde and try not to i don't know it's almost like again going back to the whole blessing thing you're being given an option or a second chance at something um be that work romantically or friendship or something i don't know um but you're being given like options like these options are being re-offered to you um and yet i feel like a part of you is just so heavily focused on your perception or your idea of the past but you're not the same person they're not the same person or the situation has somehow transformed and it's not the same anymore so you need to look at it with fresh eyes um i definitely see like by the end of the month there is some sort of cleansing or clearing out of something and needing to like let go of whatever this pain is and just to allow yourself to feel happy and to enjoy something um because i feel like there should be a, this should be a celebration it shouldn't be like a mourning um of something or some sort of anxiety or you just being stubborn for the sake of being stubborn over something and that's not usually an aquarian trait they're very like well usually they're very quite open to whatever it is that presents themselves um but for some reason you're being stubborn about something now i do see like relationships maybe a past relationship I, they are showing me rings commitments promises in regards to the past and like emotions resurfacing um there could even be like a business partnership that's coming up for you or something in regards to your own health and well-being and i feel like again they're giving me this image of um a melting iceberg and you, you're trying to keep a float of it so whatever it is you need to deal with it um i feel like the advice is i feel like yeah the only advice is no matter how difficult it may feel or how like much you want to resist this don't resist it it's almost like saying this is like fate this is destiny um you know being in the same place at the, the right time or just some sort of sense of like serendipity okay something happening um and you may want to resist it because you're like no, no no i'm not ready for that it's, it's not the right time for that sorry like maybe in like i don't know like some sort of other calculation maybe like next week at 5 p.m would be good for me but you can't like put a time on everything you know it happens when it happens and i am seeing change i am seeing movement um and it could be in in regards or involving someone from your past um so this is what i get for you guys please do let me know how it relates to you down in the comments below and if you like this video or you can relate to it please do give it a thumbs up and share it if you can and i'll see you for january's um predictions at the end of the month so thank you so much bye